Hey you guys and welcome to my channel Reflectively Made with Duanita. I'm Duanita and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning back to my channel, welcome back. Today is Transformational Tuesday and I encourage all of you to be intentional with your life transformation. You are actually tuning into a series that I like to call 30 Ways to Level Up Personal Growth Edition, wherein I'm going to be sharing 30 ways that we all can level up in our personal growth journey. And I'm saying all of us because the information I'm sharing, I'm sharing it with myself as well. Um, just keep in mind that the information that I'm sharing is not new information. I'm sure we've heard it over our life time so you could just look at it as a friendly reminder and you can look at me as your friendly messenger so today i'm going to be sharing the number 21 way that we can all level up in our personal growth journey so if you miss number one through 20 just go back to my youtube channel reflectively made with duanita watch number one through 20 and then come back and watch the number 21 way okay i encourage you all to grab a notepad and a pen so that you can take notes on any piece of information that resonates with you and your situation so that you you can reference it, implement it, and apply it accordingly. Also, keep in mind that the information I'm sharing is from my own personal life experience, from my own personal opinions, and my own perspectives. And I do encourage you all to share your perspectives as well in the comment section below so that we can keep the conversation going and so that we can continue to enlighten each other and just continue to inspire each other overall. All right? Um, and the most important thing that I'm going to ask you to do is like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Reflectively Made with Duanita, so that you can be notified when a new video is released, so you can, get, you can continue to get this good, good information. All right, so let's get into it. And those of you who have been following me know that I like to reference my notes because I want to make sure I come correct when I'm sharing this good, good information with you all. All right, so... The number 21 way that we all can level up in our personal growth journey is to choose better environments. Now, keep these statements in mind. You have the power to choose a, the environment you want to be a, um, a part of, okay? So, I just want you to keep that in mind. You have the power of choice. So, you can choose the environments that you want to be a part of. The other thing is, you may not have control of your current environment, but that doesn't mean you, you need to allow your current environment to have control over you. All right, so let's get into my perspective. So sometimes when you're not seeing the growth in your personal growth journey, it's because you're stagnant in the current environment that you're in, right? The current environment is where you're comfortable in. The current environment is where you have your normal routines and you do basically the same type of um, activities, right? So in your current environment, you're around the same people, most likely you're around the same people having the same conversations doing the same things and when you're around the same people doing the same activities having those same conversations then you remain in the same position mentally physically emotionally and financially all right so you have to ask yourself so remember in previous my previous videos i always am highlighting the fact that in your personal growth journey, you have to do a lot of self-reflecting and you have to ask yourself a lot of self-reflecting um, questions. So you have to ask yourself, is my current environment helping me grow for the better, right? So if your overall goal is to do better, be better and live better and actually evolve into the person that you are called to be, then you have to ask yourself if your current environment is allowing you to do that. Is it helping you to be better? And if the answer is no, then that means that it's time for you to choose a better environment, right? The other thing is, if your current environment is a toxic environment and it's just negative and limiting and it has a lot of barriers, um, then that's also a sign that you need to choose a better environment, right? So if you never want to stay in an environment, um, no, so I can't read my own high, um, handwriting, so sorry about that. But at the end of the day, you never want to stay in an environment that tolerates you. So have you guys heard of that statement where they say, um, don't stay in environments that tolerate you, but go into environments that celebrate you. 
And that's a true statement because if you understand what the word tolerate means, then you would understand that statement. So when you are tolerated, you, you're not being challenged, right? You're not being challenged to change for the better because it, it means that the environment, the, the environment that's tolerating you is accepting you and enduring your current behavior and habits, right? And it's kind of enabling you to stay the same. So that's why it's important for us to be intentional in our growth journey and seek better environments um, that will cause us to stretch ourselves and cause us to challenge ourselves to be better, right? And to evolve and to actually um, have a growth mindset and not a fixed mindset, okay? So when you're not being challenged to grow, this means that um, you're not being encouraged or empowered to change your current um, behaviors and habits that are stunning your growth. So this means, again, that it's time to choose a better environment that will actually motivate you to want to improve and get better as an individual, okay? So the word environment is defined as the surroundings or conditions you live or operate in, okay? So if your current surroundings or your current conditions are no longer serving you, or are no longer aligned with your personal growth goals, then it's time to choose a better environment. Um, and you have to tell yourself as often as you need to that it's okay to leave the environments that no longer benefit you. And you want to start saying that to yourself so that you can get it in your mind and not feel guilty when you are actively changing, okay? Because what's gonna happen is the people that are in your current environment that are not on that same level as you um, as far as seeking change and seeking growth, they're not gonna understand your need or your desire to wanna change. They're not gonna understand it. So you may get a lot of criticism, you may get a lot of flack for wanting to grow and change, but you have to just start reminding yourself or telling yourself that it's okay to leave those environments that are no longer benefiting you. And those people are gonna be okay. Your That old environment is going to be okay. They're, they're gonna actually eventually come around. And if they don't, then that just means they weren't a part of your growth journey. They weren't, a, they weren't supposed to be a part of this new season that you're trying to go into, okay? So start telling yourself that today. It's okay to leave um, the environment that's no longer benefiting me. It is okay for me to leave the environment that is no longer benefiting me, all right? So it's necessary again to make those changes or to change your environment so that you can become who you are called to be. It's necessary for you to put yourself in environments that create a space for you to explore, discover, and flourish, right? Um, because that's how you elevate. That's how you get to the next level. That's how you level up by putting yourself in those type of spaces that allow you to stretch yourself and challenge yourself and actually expose you to new things that you would never have thought of or new things that you would have never imagined that you can obtain, okay? So that's why it's important to put yourself in different environments um, that allow you to see that those that expose you to those options, right? You wanna be exposed to different options. So get clear on how you see your life and be intentional um, about seeking those new environments and, and breaking those routines and changing those conversations and resist the urge to stay in your comfort zone, all right? So choose better environments at the end of the day. And I just want to let you know that if you're having a hard time finding new environments, then did you know that you have the power to create your own environment? And at that moment, the people or the energy that you want to attract will come to you. 
all right so keep that in mind so that's it for now sorry for the sunlight i'm living i'm tuning in from sunny california so shout out to all my californians out there watching this video um but yeah thank you kindly for tuning in to my channel reflectively made with dway nita make sure you like share and subscribe to this channel so that you can get notifications when a new video is released and also share this video with anyone that you believe needs a boost of motivation a boost of empowerment and boost of encouragement or inspiration all right and remember you all are reflectively made majorly anointed and destined for elevation see you in the next video